Pain and discomfort are considered to be signs of energy imbalance, which if left in this state will become illness and disease. Acupressure approaches this energy imbalance in concrete way through the identification of acupoints. And acupoints are located on meridians or channels that run through the body and connect all parts of the body together. These acupoints are specific sites on the body that often treat pain or discomfort elsewhere. By addressing problems or imbalances that acupoints, you can balance the flow of energy and therapy reduces or eliminate pain in the affected areas. And uh, many people confuse acupressure with acupuncture. The two are similar and closely related. Both they rely on the same fundamental principles and both use the same points and meridians. The most important difference acu acupuncture uses uh, pins or needles. And this difference is crucial because the needle aspect is something that make pe many people nervous about acupuncture reflexiology so reflexiology is a system of feeling based on balancing energy by stimulating areas in the feet and hands that relate to organs glands and parts of the body and reflexiology is similar to acupressure in basic principle but the two have some differences as well they both correct imbalances in the energy force by focusing on specific areas of the body where they pinpoint treat that imbalance. Although the acupressure involves meridians and acupoints, and the reflexiology relies on pathways called reflex zones, which contain reflexes areas located on the hands and feet. The reflex areas on the hands and feet are essentially holograms of the whole body. Therefore, stimulating the hands and feet affects the whole body by applying pressure to specific reflex points. You adjust the flow of energy and can create positive response in a corresponding location elsewhere on the body. And here are reflexiology points on the feet. They represent the eyes here, and the stomach, kidney, and here is the bladder, as we can see in here. The importance of Kai. Unfortunately, I can't give you an exact definition of Kai. Trying to define it is like trying to define consciousness or infinity. But essentially, Kai is life force, and uh, Chinese texts describe it not only as a force or energy, but also as substance. It's a substance that acts through matters, blending molecules together. So it's a vital force which sustains all the life we'll talk right now about meridian channels they are that they deliver kai to all parts of the body and they are often called uh, rivers of life because kai is a vital life energy and understanding meridians and how they work and because acupressure is based on the Kai flow along meridians, you need a solid foundational understanding to make the most of your acupressure practice. The human body has 12 organ meridians on each side of the body, named by the organs they govern. And the meridians on one side are mirror images of meridians on the other side. Every organ meridian governs the health of the organ it supplies as well as specific areas of the body that may or may not be related to the area where the organ resides. Each meridian also has important psychological and emotional attributes. 
and in addition to the 12 organ meridians, two other meridians travel along the middle of the body and they are called the central channel meridians. So the total number of meridians is 26. The two meridians of the central channel don't govern organs but do govern areas of the body and have psychological and emotional associations. So the meridians on the front side of the body is called the conception vessel and the one on the back is called the governing vessel. Twelve organ meridians travel up and down the body. Six of the organ meridians stop or start in the hands and six of them stop and or start in the feet. To be exact, the hand is the ending place of the three yang meridians and the starting place of the three yang meridians, while the foot is the starting place of the three yang meridians and the ending place of the three yang meridians. So, this is the first channel, the heart channel, starting at this point and ending at this point. And here is the kidney channel, and it's starting in this point, and it goes all the way along up to this point, which is kidney 27 or K27. The large intestine channel, starting at this point in this finger, and go all the way up to the face around the nose here large intestine 20 the stomach channel starting here below the eye going all the way down to the feet here which is last point stomach 45 the liver channel and it's starting from here, from the toe up all the way to this point, which is liver 14. The lung channel, starting from here, all the way down to the finger here, which is the lung 11. The precardium channel, which is starting from here all the way down to this finger here and the small intestine channel starting from here up all the way to the face here beside the ear the spleen channel starting from here this is the spleen number one all the way to the spleen 21 which is here and the triple warmer channel and the abbreviation is TW or SG depending on the reference and it's starting from here from the finger here and ending up in this point 23 and the urinary bladder it's starting from the head up to the down all the way down there to the feet and this is the gallbladder channel starting from here from the face beside the eye going all the way down to the feet here and we have the conception vessel meridian which is the central point starting from here the abbreviation CV or REN going all the way to the chin here below the mouth this area here and governing vessel starting from this point going the back side all the way up to the top of the head here and also covers those points in the face and they use these points a lot in acupuncture most of these points are used
more likely in acupuncture, more than acupressure. So acupressure points the acupressure points for diabetes so rubbing acupuncture or acupressure points with your finger for 30 to 60 seconds can stimulate and promote a circulation of chi within your own body restoring health and well-being so we are gonna start with this point stomach 44 between the second and the third toe in the depression where the bones come together this is a clears heat from the stomach meridians and regulates sky relieves pain as well and we have this point in here which is the stomach 36 on the outside of the leg approximately one hand width below the kneecap just of the bone function increases stamina and energy and provide stability and grounding heals effects on the body of too much worrying and thinking and we have this point here which is kidney three level with the tip of the inner ankle bone in the depression between the ankle and the tendon and uh, this is relieves heel and ankle pain and they use it also for diabetes it's very good points and we have also this point kidney six so it's in the depression below the tip of the inner ankle and we have this point which is lung five and uh, lung five on the thumb side at the elbow crease it just off the biceps branchial tendon and also beside the acupressure it's important to maintain normal sugar level in the body through diet so eating balanced diet that contains complex carbohydrates protein and healthy fats can help regulate normal sugar levels in your body so eat smaller meals at regular times throughout the day and you can add some of these food to your diet such as artichoke black beans bran celery coconut oil flax seeds oil lentils nuts oats beets and pumpkins also you should maintain a positive attitude stress and anxiety can affect your psychological function and emotional upset will raise your blood sugar levels exercise is very important as well so staying active is one of the best way to help lower your blood sugar levels try to get in daily walk swim or yoga class acupressure points for cold and flu rubbing acupuncture or acupressure points with your finger for 30 to 60 seconds can stimulate and promote the circulation of chi within your own body restoring health and well-being so we are gonna start with this point which is lung seven roughly two inches above the base of the thumb used for fever chilies shivering nasal congestion and discharges and sore throats cough headache and migraines we have this point as well which is lung five on the thumb side at the elbow crease just of the biceps branchial tendon and uh, it's useful for hot skin conditions and uh, upper body edema and uh, local points for tendentis and we have also this point which is lung one on the chest elbow and the collar bone approximately six inches from the center of the chest this point used for asthma and the common cold cough and pain in the chest we have this point here it's lung nine 
and uh, lung nine is just below your thumb and it's used for calf and tightness of the chest and shortness of a breath uh, for asthma and digestive problems and rest pain we have also this point here it's large intestine on the back of the hand between the thumb and the first finger and uh, it's used for common cold with a swearing and fever headache and red and painful eyes also we have those two points here large intestine too in the face and uh, those used for nasal discharges and congestions and uh, also used for itchy eyes and facial pain with the swelling so acupressure points for asthma i'm gonna start with lung seven in here which is roughly two inches above the base of the thumb and uh, it's used for headache and asthma neck stiffness calf and sour throat we have lung five it's just over here and it's used for uh, upper edema and skin conditions and uh, also we have the other point lung one as i have mentioned before below the collarbone and uh, it's about six inches from the center of the chest uh, this uh, regulates lung chi and helps with cough and wheezing and asthma we have lung nine over here on the rest crease just below your thumb and uh, it's used for tightness of the chest, shortness of a breath, and asthma. We have those two points, which is conception vessels on the breastbone in the center of the chest between the nipples, and uh, this point used for difficulty swelling and the chronic lung issues. And uh, we have the also conception vessels at 12 on the center line of the body, half away between the navel and the place where the ribs come together. Uh, this point usually uh, used for spl spleen deficiency and also affect the throat, chest, lungs, and digestive system. We have this point, stomach 36. On the outside of the leg, approximately one hand width below the kneecap, just off the bone. And uh, it's used for uh, to treat the immune function problem. And uh, it's very helpful points to treat many uh, other disorders. For asthma, we can also use the aromatherapy such as chamomile helps to prevent and release the histamine and reduces a bronchial spasm also marjoram support lung health and encourage deep breathing and reduces a bronchial spasm lavender oil is very helpful as well so acupuncture points for depression we have this point here which is level three and uh, this point on the top of the foot where the first and the second matristrial bone meet and uh, it's used for dizziness headaches especially blurry eyes irregular menstruation depression it's very helpful point and we have also here large intestine four on the back of the hand between the thumbs and the first finger this point is used for headache and painful eyes and also it's very helpful to treat dep uh, depression symptoms we have this here uh, pericardium 6 
on the side of the forearm between the tendons and approximately two and a half finger width below the wrist crease. This point uh, helps you to calm and uh, harmonize the, the body hormones and relieves the nausea and vomiting and uh, relaxing the chest area. We have also heard seven here with palm facing up on the inside of the wrist on the little finger side of the craze where the hand meet the wrist. Uh, it's very helpful as well for the heart and uh, uh, to keep your mood balance. Uh, also, this point is very popular to treat depression. So, acupressure points for headache. We have level 3 here. It's very effective point for headache and dizziness. Also, we have large intestine 4. Also, it's used for headache, fever, and painfully eyes. And we have these points, which they are the urinary bladder 10 and stomach aids so stomach aids is about uh, approximately four and a half inches from the middle of your head at the corner of your forehead and this po these points used for uh, dizziness and uh, eye disorders and spasm and facial paralysis bell's palsy and headache and migraines and uh, we have this urinary bladder 10, these two points. Uh, they use usually for dizziness, a disorder, headache, migraines, and stiff neck and pain. Also, we can use aromatherapy to treat headache and migraines. And uh, we have a lot of essential oils, very effective to treat uh, headache, such as lavender, melissa, rosemary, peppermint, jasmine, and eucalyptus. We can add a few drops at the large intestine four, or at those points here, like stomach aches. Uh, they are very effective to treat uh, migraines. Acupressure points for cholesterol and hypertension, stomach 36 and heart 7 with the palm facing up and on the inside of the wrist on the little finger side of the crease where the hand meets the wrist. These two points are very important to treat uh, hypertension and cholesterol. And here is the acupressure points for carpal tunnel. We have the heart 7 and the precardium 7 and precardium 6. We have also the triple warmer CG4, which is down here. And uh, this point is very important to release the pain. And also we have the small intestine 5, which is just right above this point here. So acupressure points for fatigue. We have uh, stomach 36, and we have also kidney three, which is located here. Uh, it's level with the tip of the inner ankle bone. And uh, this point like uh, strengthen the low back and the knees and uh, also it helps to treat anxiety and insomnia and the chronic low back pain. We have as well the, the, uh, this point here on the chest, which is uh, kidney 27. And we have liver 3. And these points uh, help to treat uh, the dizziness, headache, and uh, insomnia. Uh, urine retention and fatigue.
So acupressure points for quit smoking. You may have variety of symptoms resulting from quitting smoking. So these acupressure points are used to support your health and well-being as you go through the process of quitting smoking. They can be used by themselves or in the conjunction with other points. So we have the conception vessel in the center of the sternum. Uh, this point is very important to release stress and anxiety and strengthen your lungs. We have also liver free. Uh, this point is very good for dizziness, headache and depression. Uh, also we have a governing vessel. Uh, this point also relieve headache and vertigo, dizziness and improve memory and this point yin tang in here in the center of the brow between the middle ends of the eyebrow relief depression calms and focuses the mind acupressure points for premenstrual syndrome we have liver three in here and also we have the gallbladder 34 below the outside of the knee in the depression just of the shin bone approximately one inch interior and inferior to the head of the fabula this point harmonizes the liver strengthen the tendons and bones and effective for um, many diseases including hepatitis we have also this point which is conception vessel six and uh, located it's located in the midline of the abdomen uh, this point is very important and effective to treat uh, vaginal discharges and menstrual disorders and we have also the large intestine four and the large intestine four has many functions uh, it's used for common cold and fever, headache, uh, painful eyes, nasal congestion, and uh, this point like uh, the master pain elimination point. So it's very effective to treat the premenstrual syndrome.